but I feel like Usyk is basking in this promotion. I mean, he's just like bathing in it. Like, you know, he's singing, he's dancing, he's got outfits, he's, he's you know, playing with the crowd. And, you know, AJ is just being AJ because he's AJ and he doesn't necessarily have to do a whole lot to make people happy. All he's got to do is show up. AJ's got a presence. But Usyk is just a personality. One of my gripes with Usyk is I wish Usyk spoke English because I feel like he is an amazing personality. And that's him not speaking uh, English. Imagine if he spoke English. And I mean fluently spoke English. I, I think we would get some amazing interviews and I think we would get some amazing press conferences. And I, I, I really think, you know, he would get more recognized. Um, but I just feel like he's really basking in this rematch. And it's funny, but I feel like Usyk is acting like he's a challenger. You know, like maybe it was a fluke or, you know, AJ was supposed to beat me or, or whatever the case may be. So I feel like he still has the hunger, the desire, and the fire of the first fight for the second fight. And that can be dangerous for Anthony Joshua. So overall... Now that I'm done and I've gone through this list, who am I picking for the fight? Well, I mean, honestly, I'm going to have to go with Alexander Usyk. He's a, listen, he won the first one and he's bigger now. He's bigger now, so he may not have to run away from Anthony Joshua. Maybe he can muscle back. Maybe it's a lot harder. Anthony got slimmer, and I don't think that was a smart thing for him to do. I really don't think... The slim Anthony Joshua, I don't think is, is is the way to go. I really don't. I think big Anthony Joshua is the way to go. You know, uh, Sugar Hill said, you know, when it came to Tyson Tyson Fury, you know, let's, he's gonna I'm gonna get him as big as possible, and he's a heavyweight. Why are you slimming Anthony Joshua down? The, me personally, that's what I feel. I feel like slimming Anthony Joshua down is not a help but a hindrance. I really do. He can still box just as much and be big. Period. He can still box just as... Look at Jarrell Miller. That dude's like 300 and some pounds. And that dude... I mean, granted, he was injecting himself with kryptonite and Captain America super serum and all that stuff. But he's still a big guy. He's still a big guy. Tyson Fury is 270 plus, And he can throw out all these punches. AJ could definitely throw out a lot of punches or definitely be effective and, and learn boxing while being big. I don't think the way to go when it comes to Anthony Joshua is to slim him up. And you have him getting slimmer and you have Alexander Usyk getting bigger. I don't think that's going to play out well. I really don't. And, uh, Alexander Usyk did not lose his skills. He didn't. I feel like he's still hungry. I feel like he thinks that that first fight was a fluke in our eyes, the, the, um, the fans. And I think he wants to put on a show. I really do. I think he wants to put on a show. I think he wants to firmly submit himself. I am the heavyweight, the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Whether you like it or not, I'm here. Period. And with that mentality, you know what? I haven't seen much of a difference in Anthony Joshua. I really haven't. And that's just the thing about AJ. There was a point in time where he had a fire and he was like, I'm going to do it and I'm going to beat you and you can't beat me. And now it's just like, eh, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm confident. We're going to see. And I don't think champions should think like that. I don't even think champions should talk like that. One thing I'm always going to pride Adrian Broner on is no matter how many times he loses, his next fight, he's like, yo, I'm the man and I'm going to knock him out. And da -da 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 -da. He believes in himself, full force. Amir Khan, he can get knocked out and come back like, I'm the man and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. It's a mind thing. You have to have that. Yes, you train every day, but you also have to have the mindset of a warrior, of a champion every single day. And you can't let that slip away from you, especially when you're fighting somebody as experienced and dangerous as Alexander Usyk, who's still riding high on the fact that he beat you. And he's a unified heavyweight champion of the world. So with that being said, I'm definitely going with Alexander Usyk. I... It's going to be a unanimous decision. I think that. I don't necessarily think it's going to be a knockout. It could be because AJ is a little chinny. But I don't think Usyk's going to put himself in harm's way that way. But you know what? I could be wrong. He might because that could be the reason why he put the weight on. is so that he could put himself in harm's way and get a knockout. So though all the people who are saying this could be a fluke, 
isn't. So I'm gonna change that to either a unanimous decision or a technical knockout, TKO. There you have it, those are my thoughts. Drop your thoughts down below, tell me what you think. And what do you think? You, you think what I'm thinking? You think it's gonna be Alexander Usyk with a unanimous decision or a technical knockout? Or do you think it's gonna be AJ? And if you do think it's gonna be AJ, how do you think he's gonna win? Drop your thoughts down below, I'd love to hear what you